So Nickelodeon just wrapped up filming for Monster High 2. And when I tell you guys, I am so excited. The caption under one of the director's most recent posts says, Sweet, sweet end to a relentless, intense 25-day shoot for Monster High 2. There was not one single easy day. There's magic to be found when a company becomes a family. Best believe tomorrow when we get our teaser at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. So tomorrow we will get our first teaser for this new movie. And best believe I will be making a video for you guys. In this video though, I do kind of want to talk about Monster High. Talk about G3. Talk about the alumni line. New things we're getting. Little leaks and stuff. We have a lot to talk about. And I kind of want to talk about my expectations for this new movie. And what I would like to see. Before we hop in though... Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Also, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Links are down in the description. Now, let's go ahead and get right into this video. I'm the manager. Who the fuck are you? The girls are coming back out of the dark again for part two. After seeing the cast post about it a little bit, it seems that in this movie, they're going to be stepping into sophomore year, which is very, very exciting. I'm excited to see what they're going to be looking like in this new movie. Because they're stepping into sophomore year, I'm hoping we're getting like upgraded looks. Just because usually when you go back to school, you know what I'm saying? That next year, you always want to like pop out. You definitely want to give different looks. And I'm really hoping the girls are going to be doing that for this new movie now the first little run of this movie was good i would definitely give them that um the set was amazing i love the set i really really liked a lot of the characters i feel like one standout character for me was definitely frankie frankie definitely ate up in the last movie jackie laura was nice also really did like claudine um i don't know it wasn't i don't know i don't think claudine was bad or anything i just feel like I, do, I can't lie. I can't lie. I do kind of miss Claudine being very fierce and like the old attitude she used to have. The way she used to walk around the school. You know what I'm saying? Like I do kind of miss that a little bit. However, I do think the new Claudine definitely has charm. Considering we're going into sophomore year this time, I'm hoping Claudine comes to school with a little bit more confidence. It also seems like Draculaura is going to be our main character this time around. I do like Draculaura, honestly. I feel like she definitely has some really good looks in the movie, so I'm so excited to see what happens with her. So on the crew's very first day on set, they had the whole crew take pictures with this board. And on the board, it says, my first day on set. And it basically kind of gives little teasers of what we are going to see in the movie. For Draculaura, it says, plans a sweet 1600 birthday party. And also at the very ending of the last movie, some lady was like sitting in front of a crystal ball saying how Draculaura will be the key to destroying the vampires for once and all so yeah it's gonna be very interesting to see what's gonna happen with that i mean i don't really know what to expect but i'm excited to see what they're gonna do with draculaura in this movie for claudine it says takes on a new rival everyone's guessing that's gonna be torilai so there was pictures that went around a while ago of like some wigs from the new movie i, th I guess i think the director posted them and there's so basically there was um a wig for torilai so torilai is going to be in this movie so everyone's guessing that the new rival that claudine has is going to be torilai i mean i think it would be cool to see um i'm really excited to see I don't know. I really hope Torlai is going to be causing all types of mischief. You know what I'm saying? I just need a little a little spice in the story, you know? Like, Comos was a cute little villain or whatever. I will give it to Comos, though. He ate up that ending. Oh, for sure. He ate up the ending until the part where he, they turned him to stone. Because, girl, that, that, no, that... <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst way to end that part for me because it, the buildup was getting there. Like the the part where you know he started to he turned into the big monster and all that. I feel like it was getting somewhere, and then the whole her just turning him to stone was just like, oh okay i mean just very anticlimactic in my opinion i just wasn't feeling it like that but i will give him up to that point he was eating up the roll for sure so next up for frankie um frankie's board actually says getting a new upgrade and it's gonna be interesting to see what that means so in the monster high the g3 show um frankie has like all types of like limbs and bionic arms and all types of things that they can like exchange and change out so i wonder if we're gonna get a little bit of that in the movie i think it would be really cool to see to be honest um i would love to see that actually 
I'm very excited to see what they're going to bring with Frankie this time. I really did like Frankie in the last movie. While Frankie was the comic relief, I feel like Frankie also had some deep moments. Some deep moments I feel like kids could really resonate with. Like Frankie not feeling like they belong and, uh, you know, not being able to make friends and not understanding, like, how to really talk to people. And I feel like that's things that kids can really relate to. And on top of that, Frankie being non-binary. Like, I don't know. I just really like Frankie. Frankie as a character, and I cannot wait to see what they do with them in this new um, movie. Frankie's fashion <laughs> was 10 out of 10. Amazing also, you know? But I feel like for the most part, the last movie was really good. It was really, really well executed. Um, I love the whole look and feel of the movie. There was a lot of really good messages too. That just like listening to them really just reminded me of like the whole message of Monster High. They did a pretty decent job of staying true to what Monster High is all about. I just hope for this next one, they really listen to fans, you know, just kind of, you know, fix things here and there. I don't, I don't feel like the old movie is necessarily bad, but I just hope that the new movie feels better in a way and feels like a, a good, a good follow up to the old one, you know? Especially because, I don't know, I feel like they, they, they were, got it done pretty fast. I didn't expect this movie to be a, coming out this soon. Like, this movie comes out in October, which I feel like is very soon, considering the last one came out last year. I, I would have thought at least we would have got it in, like, what, 2024, maybe? They said, no, girl, we're wasting no time. I feel like a little catacombs moment would be fun, because they did a little bit of it in the the new show. So I th think it would be fun to, like, for them to maybe venture down into the catacombs or something. Maybe the to have like Jackie Lori's party down there. I don't know, y'all. I'm just I'm really excited for this new movie, and I just have a good feeling it's going to eat. I feel like another character I really loved was Cleo, but I also feel like Cleo doesn't feel too different from her old self, to be honest. Like the actress did a really, really good job. For Cleo's board, it says she becomes a ferocious campaign manager. Then for Deuce, it says relationships get rocky. So I wonder what that means, you know? Because, you know, Cleo and Deuce, they broke up. And in the last movie, they weren't really, you know, I don't know. You could tell Cleo wanted Deuce back, but Deuce didn't seem to be too interested. And... It seems like Claudine was kind of, you know, feeling Deuce. And Deuce seems like he was kind of feeling Claudine. So. Part of me feels like they won't make Claudine and Deuce a real thing. Like, I don't know. I know they had their little flirty moments. But I feel like towards the end of the movie, like, Cleo and Deuce are going to end it back together or something. Like, I don't know. I don't really see them making Claudine and Deuce a thing for real, for real. But, I mean, I guess we're going to see. We need to see more Laguna. Yeah, it was disrespectful how in the last movie we didn't. We, she was only in, like, what, like, two scenes? Would she have, like, two lines, girl? Yeah, I'm going to need my girl to have a whole scene moment. I just want to see more of Laguna because I really love Laguna in G3, her dolls, her in the show. I, I just love her personality and feel like we definitely should see more. Okay, so now in the new Monster High show, we have new episodes coming. I believe the first episode airs March 10th. Um, Because, you know, the Monster High show just kind of disappeared for a while. We got, like, what, six, seven episodes, and it just stopped for a second. And I was like, wait, hold on. Like, wh where's my girls at? But they're coming back, and there's some new episodes that are going to be introducing some new characters. Well, not necessarily new, but bringing back some characters that we love. Miss Nefera Denial is back in the building. Now, only thing that's different when it comes to Nefera is Nefera is no longer the really new mean older sister she's more so the big sister who's like good at everything and then like cleo's kind of like jealous of that that's more so what nefer is giving this time around she's not necessarily the mean girl anymore and i don't know i i don't i was really hoping she was gonna come back and be the mean girl but i don't know maybe i can you know grow to love you know this new version of nefera her design here is is it is cute um and i've noticed normally with the g3 dolls the dolls look like way better than the animation so especially like looking at abby like abby looks really cute in the show but i feel like her doll just looks beyond amazing so i have a feeling nefera is gonna eat down okay looking at little clips from the show it looks like nefra is actually gonna be taller than frankie which is nice and i just cannot wait to put like cleo and nefra right next to each other y'all nefra is like the og nefra the og nefra is definitely one of my grail dolls and i still need that doll eventually at some point you know
I really do love the new Monster High show. It's always fun, like, seeing the, the characters and everything. Um, I don't know. I feel like you can't really go into the show with the whole nostalgia thing with G1 because you might not like it then. You got to be ready to accept it for being new. But I feel like as its own show, I really do like it. It is a bit more like... I don't know, like a little bit more cheesy. Like it definitely feels like a Nickelodeon cartoon. If you get what I'm saying, it definitely feels like a Nickelodeon cartoon. I also feel like G3 in general does a really good job of like talking about issues kids deal with now like being accepted like dracula or her, her whole wanting to be a witch thing and like frankie you know being non-binary like i don't know it's things that i feel like kids today can really relate to and i love that they definitely feel a little bit like younger they don't like okay you know how in g1 like they would strut the halls like the little walk they had and like I don't know. I don't know. It's just like a different kind of vibe now. I don't hate it, though. I don't hate it. I've, I've really grown to love it. And right here we have pictures of Claude in box. Y'all, I love his curly hair. I hope they use the cur the curly hair some more. Like, I would love to see Claudine with, like, some really curly hair. Like, it would be a moment. But Claude is really, really cute. I love his little purple jersey. And I love his Letterman jacket. His artwork right up here in the front is very cute. Yeah, I'm really excited for Claude, to be honest. And I cannot wait to see um, inbox pictures of Abby. Abby ate down, period. I'm really, really excited to see what G3 has in store. Um, I feel like the dolls so far have been pretty good. And I feel like every new release, the dolls are just getting better and better. Like Monster Ball is absolutely amazing. It looks way better than, say, like the very first little wave that came out, you know? And then also, I'm excited to see... Um, the reproductions for this year, I heard we are going to be getting schools out. I don't know how true that is. I heard it's going to be Claudine, Frankie, Cleo, and, oh my gosh, Laguna. But yeah, I heard we're going to be getting those dolls. Don't know how true it is, but if we are, I'm crying, screaming, and throwing up because I've always wanted that Claudine and Frankie. So to actually have them will be everything. Um, I would love to see like a new G1 line in stores. I don't know if they would go that far to do that, but I'm here for reproductions. Um, like the collector dolls are nice. I love them. Okay, I genuinely do. But I just think it would be fun to have more G3, no, G1 dolls that are just kind of like more like widely available. Like even the original Creep Productions or Real Drama dolls, I personally never seen in stores before. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just I, I would love to see more more G1 stuff in stores. And also, you know, there's been like talks about a multiverse type of situation happening and i think we're supposed to be getting an episode about it and if they decided to turn it into a movie i would live for it but i believe there is going to be some type of like episode about like a multiverse and like i don't i don't i don't know i don't know and it's going to be interesting. It really, really will be. And I'm so, so excited to see what Monster High is going to bring this year. Because if we thought we got a lot of dolls last year, I can just imagine that they're going to come so much harder this year. So, girl, get your coins ready because I know I am. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know all your guys' thoughts and opinions down below. How are you guys feeling about Monster High? And what do you want to see going into the future? Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe subscribe to support my channel and make sure you guys are always being yourself and staying true to who you are because you are yourself that at least peace y'all